Hey guys, Good to Great Cigars here. Just wanted to show you a quick video on how to properly season a humidor if you have a traditional cedar or wood humidor at the house. Um, so a few things that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a nice little humidor that you have. You're going to need some distilled water. It's going to be very important that we use distilled water. That way, there's no bacteria and things like that that might form from using regular tap water. You're also going to need some sponges. I found this little eight pack for about a dollar at my local uh, Walmart next door. And then a little Tupperware to put your water in, let your sponge soak in there as well, because that's what you're going to do. So all that seasoning your humidor means is that you're going to pretty much just dampen the inside and get it wet so that when you put cigars in there, the natural woods in there don't suck all of the humidity and moisture out of your cigars. So that's why you need to season the humidor and get it wet so that that way it already has some moisture in there. You'll see also they usually come with a little like a little sponge or something that you can put um, solution on so that it keeps your cigars moist and properly humidified. But I'm going to, uh, I don't use this. I like to use like normal Bulveda packs or something like that instead of putting the water on here. And then what I'll also do is I'll use a Zycar digital hygrometer. This one's a nice wireless one so I can put it inside the humidor and then look at my reader and see what the reading comes out as. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to, how to uh, season the humidor. So you just get your sponge with the water, wring it out. You don't want it to be too damp. You might also want to have a little towel that you can keep with you to dry your hands on as well. But once you get the sponge damp, all you simply do is just go over the inside. And you can see how it gets damp. So you'll notice that it does change a little bit of color. That's how you know that you got that part of the humidor wet. But you don't want to oversaturate it. And then simply go back to your distilled water, rinse it out. It's also nice to use a sponge. You wouldn't want to use like um, paper towel or anything like that because it's going to leave residue of the paper towel or the napkin inside of your humidor. So best thing is to use a sponge like this. And then also this is helpful because in the bottom of the humidor, sometimes you'll notice that there could be particles from dust and you know pieces of cigar and things like that. So the sponge will help pick all of that up. But pretty simple. Go over all the inside cracks. Make sure that you look at the color of the inside color of the humidor. Make sure it changes colors. And once you do that, you need to let it sit for a day or so. Uh, it might also be helpful if you have one of the Zycar wireless, uh, the digital hygrometers. You can put a couple of Bulveda packs in there or you can just put a simple uh, like a little shot glass filled with the distilled water so that you can see what the humidity is and you want to try to you know get it to uh, the level that you want to keep the humidity at and leave it there for a couple of days or for a day or so um, until the humidor acclimates so that's what it means to properly season a humidor sometimes you have to have a little bit of patience when you're doing that but if you do that if you do it right the first time you won't have to worry about you know doing it over again or having your the quality of your cigars suffer as well so hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more take care